Hopefully you guys can hear me loud and clear. What's going on, my fellow gamers? Yes, Big Cloud here, back again, finally. All right, so let me go ahead and give you some info here. Now, <laughs> big shout out to my friend Foxy Games UK, man, because uh, I've been seeing a lot of these outlets, and uh, he did tell me to keep my eye, my eye open, and I did. And, whoo, he is not kidding when it comes to them being cutthroat, let me tell you. Now, <laughs> let me try to make a little sense for these articles since they so they clearly can't make sense for a lot of this stuff. And a lot of them, especially those who are not in the circle, end up being square in the long run. So, you know how that is. Anyway, to quote my good friend Foxy, he made an interesting post. It was a while ago where he said that the... Uh, if I remember correctly, he said that uh, Mark Cerny was going to was doing some wizardry, right? And he was like, he broke the fourth wall. If I remember something similar of that uh, particular nature, he wrote. Now we have information courtesy of a former Faison employee. And basically, now I see what he was talking about. Now, going to this information here, again, this is courtesy of the Faison leaker who actually worked on the Xbox Series X. This is what is going on here. The actual... Um, Leaker put this here, okay? He, the employee put this here. The Xbox Series X PCIe controller is actually going to be 50% less powerful than the PlayStation 5. So basically, what is that uh, translating to? Well, according to the information that we got, the PlayStation 5 SSD that they're going to be rocking is going to be rocking at least 3,700 megabits by 3,000 megabits in terms of the read and write uh, ratio in terms of speed. And that right there is going to be their... Um, way of going about it with PlayStation 5. Now, of course, PlayStation 5 is definitely going about things in a different route, and we know that Microsoft clearly wants the power advantage when it comes to next gen. However, when you have an SSD of this magnitude, you don't necessarily need the power if you think about it. Now, granted, again, we know why Microsoft's doing this. Let's keep it real. Microsoft in 2013, they launched a powerful, well, they didn't, it wasn't really a powerful console. It was powerful in the 360, but they launched a system that was less powerful than the competition, okay? They were more expensive as well out the gate due to the connect. They don't want this issue again. So therefore, that's why they're going strictly off of GPU performance. Sony, however, is going strictly off of the um, load times as well as this new SSD. This new SSD is really going to be their uh, determining factor when it comes to their games and performance. And since they're having this particular thing going about it, they're going with efficiency versus power with Microsoft. This is definitely going to be their key. Now, again... I'm looking at this, and, I'm, and it's all starting to come together now, right? As I'm talking to you guys through this mic, so excuse me if I sound a little off. I'm actually, I literally just got in the house, so I, I literally got in the house, went immediately, jumped on the computer, and did this uh, recording, so excuse me about that, but <laughs> again, to stay on topic here, when you look at these particular things, power versus efficiency, this is basically the end result of what you're going to get, okay? Microsoft will have the advantage, especially in multiplats, if the third-party developer takes full advantage of it when it comes to the graphics. They'll definitely have those, they'll definitely have that, um, that performance gap there. They'll have that. However, when it comes to the efficiency of games and the actual low times and performance, Sony might damn well have the edge in that particular regard. And that's where it's definitely going to even out, especially. Sony's not screwing around. Boot times and low times are definitely going to be a thing of the past going into PlayStation 5. Just going off of these, these speeds of the SSD, we got this definitely in the bag. Low times are done, okay? Definitely done. Everything else going into the PlayStation 5, such as the first-party studios, is pretty much a toss-up, right? Because you got so many studios. We know what games to look forward to based off what we got for PlayStation 4. Ben Studios is obviously probably going to make another Days Gone. Spider-Man 2 has already been uh, rumored and mentioned. Godfall is going to be a day one game for PlayStation 5, and the list goes on. So you know you're going to have a lot to look forward to on PlayStation. As far as Microsoft is concerned, we know we have Xbox uh, Series X having... Uh, um, Halo Infinite, and 
that's pretty much it for their uh, first party for Series X that I've, I'm aware of. But more will be announced. So February, I cannot wait for February. Get more information on this. More than likely, we're probably not going to get the actual console reveal at uh, the February conference. But what we will get is probably more information on the load speeds. We'll probably get the uh, showcase of the new DualShock 5. And of course, they'll probably give you a full inline demo of how these games are going to play, how fast are going to be and most importantly one thing is definitely going to change come in February and I want you guys to pay close attention to this all the people creating fake outrage over Horizon Zero Dawn watch how quickly they become super positive and want to live stream the show keep your eyes close on that but until then next <laughs> until, until then my fellow gamers this is Big Cloud Gaming I am definitely going to have to sign out um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Excuse me if I sound a little off, but I just got announced. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And definitely show that support by hitting that like button and definitely subscribing if you are new. Until next time, my fellow gamers, this is Big Cloud Gaming. I am most certainly signing out. All of you have a blessed one and y'all be safe. Later.